Megan here. Um, I just got back from one of my two week Aldi shopping hauls and I thought I would share what I got with you guys. Before I share all of the food, let me flip you around and show you my meal plan for the next two weeks as well as what I spent on groceries. And now I also went to Sam's Club um, tonight as well and I have all of that laid out and I'll show you what I got there and how much I spent there as well. Okay, so here is the meal plan for this week. Um, today is Monday and I am behind. We, we were on vacation last week, so I didn't get to go shopping on my normal day, which is Saturday. So today we don't have anything planned. It was just we ate out. I ate out. Dean took the boys to piano and he ate out. Um, but this week's breakfast is breakfast burrito, so I got all of the fixings for that. And I'll make that in bulk and then the boys will eat that throughout the week. Um, tomorrow, Tuesday, I'm going to make corned beef and cabbage. This was something that I pulled over from um, last week's meal plan because I didn't get to that. And then on Wednesday, we have our soup, which is typical for Wednesdays. We have potato, corn, and bacon soup with sourdough loaf. And you'll see my little notes here, which reminds me to pull things from the freezers. Um, and then on Thursday, we're going to do stuffed peppers and veggies. I have some stuffed pepper mix left over in the freezer, and I'll make just a little bit more to fill that out. Um, on Friday, I will be gone to um, like a women's um, like small group. So Dean will have the four boys and two of their cousins here. And so I got fish sticks and veggies for them. And then I got some wings for him. Um, on Saturday, we will do a chicken and mushroom stew. Sunday is our typical family pitch in lunch. So I'm not for sure what I'm supposed to make there yet. But that is this week's meal plan. And I will get that put on the fridge as soon as this video is over. And then next week we will have banana oatmeal for breakfast. And on Monday, we will do chicken fajitas with Mexican rice and refried beans. On Tuesday, we will have a bacon baked fish with rice and veggies. On Wednesday, we'll have a butternut sage soup with sourdough, and that's really yummy. Um, on Thursday, we'll do beef stew and cornbread. Friday, I'm gonna have my parents come over and make creamy spinach enchiladas and veggies. There are a couple things that I didn't get tonight, and I will have, to pick, have Dean pick those up at the store um, a little bit later. And then on Saturday, we're gonna have red pepper Parmesan chicken with rice and veggies. And then of course, Sunday is the pitch in. So I'm not sure what that is. So at Aldi's, this is mostly all food items um, and wine is on this list. So that kind of counts as a non-food item, but I spent $253.10 for two weeks worth of groceries at Aldi's. Um, my monthly budget is around $700 and I rarely ever spend that. Um, so yes, I'm saving money shopping at all these. And then at Sam's Club, I got mostly non-food items and I do the scan and go so they don't actually give you a printed receipt. It's a digital receipt, but I spent $162.91 there. So let me take you over and show you the non-food items first. So here are our non-food items and Oliver smells his food. <laughs> so I got um, a big bag of cat food, um, a bag of kitty litter, and a bag of dog food for Rosie, um, our dog. She is trying this new grain-free dog food and it's been doing really well. She has eczema really badly and that has helped her a lot not to break out so badly. I got her um, a watering, kind of auto water thing because her water bowl outside is always hot and so I bought that and we'll see if that can keep more water for her. Oliver, you're gonna have to scoot out of the way. Obviously there's wine from all these. I bought some storage size gallon um, baggies because I'm running low on those. Um, at Sam's Club, I picked up this detergent. This is um, Eco Lavender Scent Detergent. I put this in like an all free and clear like, container when I do laundry because it's easier for the boys to pour out. They will spill it if it's in this, um, but that is the detergent we use. I got some finish tabs for the dishwasher. Um, I got some AA batteries. And then I also picked up, they have bulbs out right now. So I got some paper whites. I wanna put these, um, they'll bloom inside for next year and I wanna do that. And then I got mixed crocuses because I have some spots where I want some crocuses for next year. So that is all I got for non-food items. All right, now I'll take you guys over here and show you the food stuff. All right, so we have Eclipse helping us out. <laughs> For the food item showing. <laughs> Alright, so first for vegetables, I have some organic baby spinach and some cilantro, a butternut squash, and some white mushrooms, um, some celery, some zucchini, 
um, carrots and two bags of color peppers. And then for fruit, I got a bunch of bananas. I'm gonna cut some of these up and freeze them because I use them in my morning smoothies and then the other part will go for the banana oatmeal. I got four containers of this unsweetened applesauce for the boys' lunch. Um, we have got some peaches and some little mandarin oranges and some grapes. These um, fruits right here were all on Aldi's Super 6, so they were um, discounted this week. And then I got some canned tuna and water for our tuna melts, some refried beans for our nachos if we have them for lunch. I got some canned salmon because I was out of it and I like to keep that stocked in the pantry. I got some um, canned chicken breast because I'll probably do quesadillas for lunch one day this week. And I'm running low on mayonnaise, so I got that. We are running low on coffee, so I got another container of the coffee. And I got more of this pomegranate plum juice from Simply Nature for my water kefir. I loved the flavor that that gave it the last time, so I got two of those. Um, for meats, here are the fish sticks that I got for the kids and um, honey barbecue wings for Dean for this Friday. I got some pork sausage because this is going to go in their breakfast burritos. This is some beef stew, like meat for beef stew this week. I got some bacon. I got two packages of sandwich meat for sandwiches, turkey breast and honey ham. And then I got some chicken broth. I normally don't buy chicken broth because I normally make my own, but I haven't bought um, a whole chicken in weeks. So I need chicken broth for some soup and I needed to buy it. Then I got um, some tomato sauce for, if we have some pasta and tomato sauce um, one night and I was running uh, low in my pantry, didn't have any, so I got two of those. I got some salsa right there, mild salsa. And then I picked up these two things, butter chicken and um, tiki masala sauce because I have some chicken recipes this week and I thought maybe I would try one of those. Um, for vegetables, for frozen veggies, I got two packages of corn. They still didn't have organic corn in this week. Then I got two packages of broccoli uh, forays. I got some Brussels sprouts, a couple packages of that. And then I got this mixed, um, it's like a mixed beans and corn and kind of mixture. So we have that sometimes on the side of our wheat mills. And everybody likes that. And then for dairy, I got a couple of containers or a couple packages of unsalted butter. And then I got some cream cheese, a couple of those. I got some block cheese that I'll shred and some sliced cheese for tuna melts. I got some more half and half and some unsweetened vanilla almond milk for my morning smoothies. A couple of containers of milk for cooking, a couple of tubs of sour cream. And then over here, I got three packages of whole wheat tortillas because we have a lot of meals in the next two weeks that need tortilla shells. Um, I got four things of bread. I think this will do us longer than two weeks, but I got for just in case. I got another package of mini chocolate chips because we're running low on those. Um, here are two sourdough loaves that we have with our soup and I got a thing of garlic bread because I feel like I'm out and I wanted to grab one and put it in the freezer. Um, I got four packages of these eggs because we will use those for breakfast and cooking and then I got a couple bags of plain potato chips for if we have sandwiches or if I have to bring chips somewhere. And I got three bags of tortilla chips for nachos and if like we want to snack on some salsa and chips in the evening. So this is everything that I got at Aldi's for this two week Aldi grocery haul. Um, yeah, so I'm happy. I think I did pretty good. There were a couple of things that I didn't get that I had on my list like Tomato paste, they were out of that at Aldi's and I needed ricotta cheese for the creamy spinach enchiladas and they did not have ricotta cheese or I couldn't find it one. So I will have to pick that up or Dean will have to get it because. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. All right, so thank you guys for watching this two week Aldi grocery haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I got and seeing my meal plan for the next two weeks. If you have any questions about um, anything you've seen or um, just questions about how I meal plan for a large family and shop every two weeks, uh, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I'd love to answer you and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.